So I'm married to Ernie, and we've been married about 18 years. We have a 14-year-old named Aiden, who is, um, you know, my life. He's a sweetheart. I'm an artist. I get to paint, live in my dream. Yeah, I feel very lucky. It's it's what I've always wanted to do, and I get to do it every day. I went for a routine mammogram and got called back and something suspicious and one appointment led to another and my sister came with me to the appointment where I was going to get a needle aspiration and uh, when the doctor walked in and you know shook his head and said I'm so sorry um, I thought he must have walked in the wrong room you know so it wasn't until I looked at my sister and she had tears in her eyes that I realized oh, something bad is happening right now, and I should pay attention, you know. And, and my sister had been, you know, cancer-free for eight years, so she went through it before, and that's probably why her tears rose, rose to her eyes so quickly, because she knew what I was going to go through, and I didn't. I just thought, okay, we'll, all right, we'll just, we'll deal with this. It'll be okay. We'll, we'll be fine. And I saw her, I'm like, oh, oops. <laughs> it's not going to be fine. It's going to be, you know, it's going to be a rough road. I don't remember there being any discussion about whether to or not. I remember it being, this is what you have. It's stage 2A, there's lymph node activity, and so you're gonna need to get chemotherapy. Emotionally, I was just trying to keep it together and keep a good attitude. Physically, it was, it was a real challenge. It was awful. It was devastating. I would you know, be on the couch for three or four days after chemo each time. It's those little moments of, how do I deal with not wanting to cry right now <laughs> because it hurts so much, they keep poking me. Or the long wait in the room for chemo that you, know, you're, you got there at 10 and it's 12.30 and you still didn't get a room. And all that time, you're just anticipating what's gonna happen. The short-term effects were nausea, um, the baldness, the hair loss, the weakness. Um, there were, you know, all the typical sort of um, side effects. I thought it was going to be you know, one really bad year, and that six months later you feel so much better, and you keep doing what you're supposed to do, and you'll have your life back, and you'll be who you were before. Um, but I'm going on two years now, and it's not. It's not exactly who I was before. And there are side effects that are staying with me that I, I believe are probably gonna be with me for the rest of my life. I started chemotherapy with Dr. Brown. Um, he also was very cognizant of, you know, wanting to know who I was and what I did, and I told him I was an artist. And um, so having that background, when we were going through chemo every day, every time I'd check in with him first, and he'd say, how are you feeling? What are your side effects? And we'd go over it. And uh, as soon as I started feeling neuropathy and tingling in my fingers, um, he's like, okay, we're going to really watch that because you're an artist, you use your hands every day, and I couldn't, you know, I couldn't do that to an artist. And I was like, okay. And I didn't even realize that what he was talking about was that that's a long term. You know, I just thought, oh, temporarily, he doesn't want me to not be able to use my hands the way I need to, to paint. Um, and then when we stopped four weeks short, um, it was because he, he said, I, I can't take your ability to be an artist away from you. It's, it wouldn't. He said he couldn't live with himself if he did that. And I appreciated that because it would have been much more devastating. And t still today, I feel my, my pinky and my ring finger on both hands are um, numb and tingly. I wish someone had told me early on that there were long-term effects to chemo. So I would have gone into this with a bit more understanding. Um, I may have made the same decisions probably would have, but I would have been aware of um, the possibility. And I thank God that we stopped when we did, because I can still paint. And if I couldn't, that would have ruined my life. That would have really been a devastating blow. It's very important for the patient to have choices. I would definitely have um, benefited from a test that told me what the likelihood of recurrence would have been. 
um, it would probably make me feel better knowing that that decision was based on more data and more science and more information and not just do what automatically is done for someone like you.